Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates and today we have a very special guest reader. You may recall that I have always advocated other people reading for this show. The challenge I have laid down is for myself to read a whole chapter of the Bible a day. But I am sure it is refreshing to your ears to hear more than one person reading the scriptures. It is my hope that I build a community of people who enjoy reading their Bibles on a daily basis. Now a special guest reader tends to struggle with reading due to dyslexic-like symptoms and those of you who know her will know she rarely volunteers herself for anything involving reading aloud. So it comes out saying that her offer to read this chapter came to me as a pleasant surprise which I quickly embraced. The guest reader is none other than my wife Caroline Yates who has started her own YouTube channel named Acorn Wine Lodge and I highly recommend you check out her video of her playing her guitar when she realised nobody was in the house to watch her. She is an awesome guitar player, although she hides her talent as much as she can. I'll put a link to her video in the description box as well as the usual links to the website and my email address. For now, let's do the right thing and open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 37 Jacob lived in the land of his father's travels, in the land of Canaan. This is the history of the generations of Jacob. Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brothers. Joseph brought an evil report of his brothers to Jacob their father. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age and he made him a coat of many colours. His brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers and they hated him and could not speak peacefully to him. Joseph dreamed a dream and told his brothers and they hated him all the more. He said to them, please hear this dream which I have dreamed. We were binding sheaves in the field and my sheaf rose and stood upright, and your sheaves came around and bowed down to my sheaf. His brothers said to him, Will you indeed reign over us, or will you indeed dominate over us? They hated him all the more for his dreams and for his words. He dreamed yet another dream, and told his brothers, and said to them, I have dreamed yet another dream, and the sun and the moon and the eleven stars bowed down to me. He told it to his father, and said to his brothers, his father rebuked him, and said to him, What is this dream that you have dreamed? Will I and your mother and your brothers indeed come to bow ourselves down to you on the earth? His brothers envied him, but his father kept this saying in mind. His brothers went to feed their father's flock. Israel said to Joseph, Aren't your brothers feeding the flock in Sheham? Come, and I will send you to them. He said to him, Here I am. Israel said to him, Go now and see whether it is 
well with your brothers, and well with the flock, and bring me word again. So he sent him out to the valley of Ebron, and he came to Sheham. A certain man found him, and he was wandering in the field. The man asked him, What are you looking for? He said, I am looking for my brothers. Tell me, please, where are they feeding the flock? The man said, They have left here, for I heard them say, Let's go to Dauphin. Joseph went after his brothers and found them in Dauphin. They saw him afar off, and before he came near them, they plotted to kill him. They said to one another, The dreamer comes. Come, therefore, let's kill him and throw him into one of the pits, and we will say, An evil animal has devoured him. We will see what becomes of his dreams. Reuben heard it and delivered him out of their hand and said, Let's not take his life. Reuben said to them, Shed no blood, throw him into the pit that is in the wilderness, but place no hands on him that he might deliver him out of their hands to restore him to his father. When Joseph came to his brothers, they stripped Joseph of his coat, the coat of many colours that was on him, and they took him and threw him into the pit. The pit was empty, there was no water in it. They sat down to eat bread, and they lifted their eyes and looked up and saw a caravan of Ishmaelites was coming from Gilead with their camels bearing spices and balm and myrrh going to carry it down to Egypt. Judas said to his brothers, What profit is it if we kill our brother and conceal his blood? Come and let's sell him to the Ishmaelites and not let our hands be on him, for he is our brother, our flesh. His brothers listened to him. Midianites, who were merchants, passed by, and they drew and lifted Joseph out of the pit and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for twenty pieces of silver. They brought Joseph into Egypt. Reuben returned to the pit and saw that Joseph wasn't in the pit and he tore his clothes. He returned to his brothers and said, This child is no more, and I, where will I go? They took Joseph's coat and killed a male goat and dipped the coat in the blood. They took the coat of many colours and they brought it to their father and said, We have found this. Examine it. Now, whether it is your son's coat or not, he recognised it and said, It is my son's coat. An evil animal has devoured him. Joseph is without doubt torn to pieces. Jacob tore his clothes and put sackcloth on his waist and mourned his son for many days.
all his sons and his daughters rose up to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted. He said, For I will die, still mourning my son. His father wept for him. The Midianites sold him into Egypt to Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh's, the captain of the guards.